The Honest Woodcutter I am Danica A. Florida, your storyteller. And I am Glenn Rendell Garcia, your storyteller. Once upon a time, in a little village, there lived a young man whose name was Alan. He was very honest man and would never take things that didn't belong to him. In contrast, he lived in the house of thieves. They would steal during the day from all the people in the village and feasting on their gains during the night. But Alan never enjoyed their way of living. I didn't take it anymore. I decided to live and start a simple but decent life. The next day, Alan set out on his own. He want to find job and place to stay. Oh, my apples! Don't worry, I'll pick it up for you. Oh, how kind. Thank you. Would you like some of my apples? Who are you? My name is Alan. I arrived to find work and place to stay. Well, why don't you stay with me until we find work? Oh, it's my pleasure. Thank you. From that day, Alan started living with the old lady. She was very sweet woman and treated him like her son. Alan was happy that he finally got a job as a woodcutter. I must cut a lot of food today. There wasn't much food at home yesterday. Today I get more money for the wood I sell. Then maybe I can surprise the old lady. He was so lost in his thoughts. The reason why his axe slipped from his hands and drop it into the nearby river. Oh no, my axe! That was my only way of repaying the old lady. I am the fairy of the river. Is there something wrong? I accidentally fell my axe in the river. I need to find it. It is my only source of money. Don't worry, I get it for you. The river fairy used her magic. The fairy presented a golden axe. Is this your axe? Sorry, but this isn't my axe. Are you sure? Yes, I am very sure. Mm, wait, let me take a look again. The fairy presented a silver axe to Alan. This one must definitely be yours. Here, take it. I'm sorry. But this isn't mine either. The fairy smiled and used her magic once more. And this time, she finally took the woodcutter's wooden axe. That is my axe. Oh, thank you kind fairy. I offered you a golden and silver axe, but you're Anna's and only ask for your old axe. As your reward, come. Take the two golden axe. This is yours now. Thank you, kind fairy. I can use it to repay the old lady. Alan went home happily. With the money he got from the axes, he built a good home for a lady. They now live a more comfortable life.